So in this program, we're going to be using some pheasant breasts. And what I'm going to be making is what some would call pheasant caledonian. You can use chicken breasts as well if you like, but I've got these beautiful pheasant breasts. These birds were actually shot yesterday. And what we're going to do is put them in some plain film and give them a right good bash out flat. So here we go, We've got the rolling pin. Just want a good smash down. This pin drives the breast and it also makes it a good flat area as you can see there. And we've got some haggis which was left over from burnt supper there. And I put some apple bros into it, which is this. Might have a drop of that later. And basically what I'm going to do is put the haggis in a line along the pheasant breast there. This is such an easy recipe, very, very quick to prepare. It takes about 35 minutes in the oven at 180 and tastes absolutely divine. So take that clean film away. I've actually got some bacon rashes here. Just lay those out in a line. Pheasant breasts right in the middle, make sure the ends are tucked in well so nothing escapes. And just go along with the bacon and wrap it, crisscross it along, help to tie the breast together. So we have the pheasant breast, nicely wrapped in streaky bacon. Just going to put a couple of cocktail sticks in to make sure it doesn't fall apart whilst roasting. There we go. I'm just going to roast them in a simple Pyrex dish. And there you have it. What some people would call Pheasant Balmoral, my take is Pheasant Caledonia. I'm going to cook this around about 180 for about 35 minutes in the oven and I'm going to serve it up with some roasted potatoes, roasted or braised leeks in butter, etc. Should be good. Right, let's have a look. Let's see if this pheasant's ready. Oh man alive. Gorgeous. I don't know if you can actually see that. There's the thin Caledonian that I call it. And what I'm going to do is actually take these out and put them to rest, and I'm going to make a apple bros sauce to go with them. Just take these out. rest that helps the meat tenderize a little bit. I'm going to get this hot plate and I'll put it straight onto that hot area there. Put some apple bros in. Oh, I'm forgetting. In here I've got a shallot which is reasonably finely chopped. One clove of garlic. So the apple bros is actually helping get this lovely residue off the bottom of the pan. We've got a wee bit of haggis in there as well. All looking good. 
Another ball pen. Some butter. Get that going. That smells absolutely lovely. And then to that, we're going big gulp of cream. Stir them. Get all that residue off the bottom of the dish. The butter helps it thicken up a wee bit. The sauce looking absolutely delish. Good grief, being a chef's hard, you know. <sighs> right, best plate up. And out come the absolutely wonderful roast potatoes. I'll maybe do a program on getting the perfect roast here at some point. But they look pretty, pretty good. Take these skewers out. Smelling wonderful. Can you smell it? Maybe not. I can. It's deluxe. And then we've got braised leeks. These are just simply braised and some butter, black pepper, a wee bit of salt. Super Maris Piper. I use Maris Piper because they're a very fluffy potato. So these are Maris Piper roasties. And they're basically roasted in olive oil, butter, some sea salt, and Italian herbs, give them a wee bit of flavour. And this last one. Now it doesn't that look absolutely superb. There's the meal. Isn't Caledonian, kind of Andy style, with my wonderful apple bros sauce, rice piper, roast potatoes, raised leeks. I think I'm gonna 